man, I had to do it. I had to do it. Bolo! All right, what is good, you guys? It's your boy, Bolo. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an update um, what's been going on with me. Um, I just recently had my gallbladder removed, and uh, some of you guys kind of already know that I was going through some gallbladder problems and some issues, and uh, I, I tried to put it off as long as I could, but I just was just tired of going through the pain. I was going through pain off and on. I just decided at the last minute to go ahead and get it removed because I felt that that was the best thing to do. All right, y'all, going to get my guard better taken out. <laughs> at the hospital. So I ain't dramatic, man, it's my dramatic. gallbladder. So what? It's just a gallbladder. You don't need it. It's not like my cold heart. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so here we go. See y'all post up so they say it's easy she didn't say easy see i don't know what is going on in your head i think there was a lot of factors that contributed to my gallbladder kind of going bad i think one of the main things was my overall health i used to be very athletic i used to work out all the time but then when i kind of got my first placement i was just in the studio all the time drinking not eating right smoking well we don't count. But, you know, I was drinking, I was eating bad, and I was sitting down all day, and I wasn't really, like, really being active until, like, recently, like a year ago, and I tried to go ahead and get really active, and then all of a sudden, I started feeling these pains, like, right here in this this area right here, in my uh, right side of my body. You know, of course, I went on to YouTube University and I found out what was kind of going on and I seen other people that had the same issues and it was a gallbladder. And I went ahead and got mine removed after going through several tests and seeing the doctors and spending all this other money on all these tests, even though I knew what was going on, I went ahead and got it done. And I feel better. Um, I do have pain in my stomach. It's really kind of because of like a lot of gas and stuff is still trapped in there from the surgery. I'm, I'm really bloated. But yeah, they had to they had to cut your boy up. So I'm a little bloated. But as you can see, they cut me here, 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 and they pulled the gallbladder out through my belly button. Yeah. I thought it was gonna hurt more than what it did, but it's just uh, more pain from the incisions. But I'm up walking around. I was walking around after, actually the, the same day I had surgery, I was walking around the house, just feel some pain in my abdomen, just soreness or whatever. But I'm walking around the house and I'm feeling pretty cool. I'm just trying to release as much of you know, the air and gas out of my stomach so I can go poo poo. Yes. But uh, I've been eating regular. My doctor said I can eat regular, but I'm really gonna make some really good changes to my health. I'm going to cut out a lot of sugars, a lot of carbs, and get back to where I was because even though I'm still kind of fit right now, I'm actually stronger than I've ever been. I've been playing basketball. I've been getting in shape. I think I need to lose a little bit more weight, probably like another 30 more pounds, and um, kind of get back to where I was. I'm here to say this to you guys. For all you guys out there, especially you males, females usually, when they see that something is going wrong with their body, they go see a doctor. My wife is like that. Most of my aunts are like that. My whole family is like that. The males, we always try to be so hard and tough and say like, oh, we don't need to do this. I'm strong. I can survive it. No. Go ahead and go to that doctor. I don't care if it's your primary care physician. I don't care if you have to go find a doctor, the ER, whatever you got to do. If you have something going wrong with you, go ahead and get it checked out and get it worked out at that moment because you do not want to end up like me. It's a lot of people who wait and wait and wait and a small problem turns into something really big and that's what you don't want to happen. That's what's happening to me right now. It's affecting my whole life because now I can't do the music that I want to do. I want to go downstairs and make beats, but I can't even lean over to make beats right now because my stomach's hurt. So it's kind of putting a damper on what I'm doing, but at the end of the day, I'm glad I got it done and I'm glad I took the, the route that I took. So make sure you guys stay proactive on your health. Make sure you get healthy. And I'm not trying to be one of these big health guru guys now because this happened to me I've, I've already known i need to take care of this and i was trying to get myself in shape before stuff like this happened but it just seemed to happen in the middle of when i really kind of changed everything around because i lost like 30 pounds i got in really good shape and it just it just happened and i think it was a few factors the way i ate my diet and everything that kind of contributed to what i had for everybody don't be scared to take care of your health get healthy eat healthy 
get some rest. Make sure you get a lot of rest. Rest <laughs> helps so much. Drink a lot of water and just, just do things that will make your life so much more easy. I hope to get back to making my more regular videos, hopefully next week. For everybody who did watch my uh, stories and gave me a shout out and all that good stuff, I appreciate that. For all the well wishes, I appreciate everybody that's done that. And I appreciate you guys for just rocking with me. But uh, this week, I'm going to take a week off of music and just focus on me. Hope you guys can understand that. And I uh, hope to see you guys next week for my next video. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and turn on those post notifications. And like I always say, Peace out.